friends, I'm Dr. Carol. Stress is the universal disease. Every single human being is affected by stress in some way. And if that's you, I want to talk about how it is affecting you today and give you some tools and some ways to think about how, how, how that may be. Now, you really don't want a life with no stress at all. You may think you do. But stress can actually be, in some ways, a helpful thing. Uh, you can think of it in a couple very simple, practical ways. Your bones need pressure. They need stress. If you do not do weight-bearing exercise, if you're lying in bed all day, your bones will lose mineral and they will not remain strong. Your cardiovascular system needs to be stressed. So just biologically, we know that uh, stress in the sense of uh, stretching you, giving your system more than it is used to handling can be a good thing. We also know that stress can be overwhelming. God did not create our bodies, minds, and souls to be in a constant state of tension where that fight, flight, freeze response is always at play. You have in, built into you ways that your body and your brain respond when something is, you know, difficult. We know some things about how human beings respond to stress if something is new, if something seems beyond what you can do something to control. Um, your, your system is, is going to feel stressed. The American Psychological Association does a stress in America survey every year. Uh, they survey you know, thousands of people to find out what kind of stress they're experiencing and how it is impacting them. Certainly, in the last couple of years during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, stress has been heightened for many people. And there are certainly other factors in our culture, in our world, in our country, if you're here in America, that, that certainly increase stress. Uh, a couple of these numbers were really shocking. 74% of American adults experienced symptoms of stress within the last month at the time of this survey. This was in 2021. 74% uh, experienced symptoms of stress in the last month, including things such as headaches, feeling overwhelmed, fatigue, changing in eating or sleeping habits. 74%. So if you are experiencing symptoms of stress that play out in your body, well, you're in good company. The majority of people are. Another statistic, 59% of U.S. adults experienced behavior changes from stress recently. Things such as avoiding social situations, altering eating habits, procrastinating or neglecting responsibilities, or altering your physical activity levels. Uh, we do uh, get the fallout from stress. Now, the difference between acute stress and chronic stress is important. Remember I said we were not built to have stress all the time. And when those stress hormones are constantly put out, when your brain is constantly keyed up, when your organs are putting out, you know, cortisol and, you know, norepinephrine and, and all of that, uh, you know, in, a, in a constant basis, your body gets the fallout some of the physical things you can experience as a result of chronic stress in include headaches and you know pain syndrome certainly that's that's a very common symptom of stress uh, not just you know headaches but pain anywhere in your body uh, abdominal pain pelvic pain muscle tension and pain your muscles being tight trouble sleeping trouble going to sleep or waking up frequently not being able to stay asleep GI symptoms. The GI system is a common place that symptoms of stress play out. The connections between your GI system, your, your stomach, intestines, and so on, and your brain um, are, are very close. There are a lot of neurons, nerve cells, in your gut. By some counts, perhaps more neurotransmitters in your gut than there is in your, in your brain itself. The, uh, the communication between your gut and your brain is, is very constant. And GI symptoms, you know, nausea, uh, change in appetite, either hungry all the time and not being satisfied or losing your appetite or, you know, diarrhea, constipation, just upset, GI, pain, all of that can 
uh, can, can be common, and a whole lot more symptoms of, of stress. One of the first important things to do in dealing with stress, anxiety, fear, what, what, whatever it is, and the fallout in your body, is to kind of take your temperature, kind of get an assessment of how stress is impacting you. I'm sure you know some of the ways already, if, if, you're, if you're still with me here. We have a short assessment to give you an idea of how well you are handling stress. drcarolministries.com slash stress. You'll see that on your screen also, drcarolministries.com slash stress. Or you can check the link right underneath this video. That is a very quick self-assessment. Now, it's not a you know, validated, proven scientific study, but it will give you a snapshot of how you are experiencing and handling the stress in your life right now. It may be just mild. Yes, there's, there's some stress, but, but you're handling it pretty well all the way up to really se severe and you're at risk of systems breaking down, your, your mind or your body just not being able to handle it. And when you take that little self-assessment, you'll get a follow-up by email that gives you some practical ideas for dealing with your level of anxiety and, and stress based on you know what, what that level is for you. We wanna give you some follow-up resources there. So I would invite you to come to drcarolministries.com slash stress. Take that little self-assessment and uh, you can get some personalized ideas for how you can ha handle that better. You know, God made us as integrated whole human beings, body, mind, and soul. When your body isn't doing well, your mind can be stressed. When there are swirling thoughts going on in your mind and thoughts and feelings that seem out of control, your body gets the fallout. Your relationships with other people are affected. Your relationship with God is affected. This will give you a snapshot of that, drcarolministries.com slash stress. And I hope you take that little self-assessment and I'll see you there soon.